Hello, hello! Welcome, everyone! This is the Lounge Pokemon Draft League Season 1 Battle Breakdown, and today we are bringing you a playoff match between Jake and William. Now, you may be thinking, wait, didn't these guys just play each other? Yeah, they play each other week 9, but just because how the seedings work, they also play each other week 1 of the playoffs. Now this is Kyle, it's been a while since I made a video, I've been pretty busy, but I am back today and I'm really excited to bring you this match. So let's get right into it, a little rematch right away. So we're starting with a good matchup for Jake, the Dragapult is going to be able to outspeed, assuming there's no choice item on this Gallade. And the Dragapult is going to have the type matchup. That ghost type is going to be doing really good against Psychic. So let's see what happens. But it does appear to be Choice Scarfed, outspeeding the Dragapult, not quite able to one hit KO. And Jake is going to be able to get that Will O Wisp. Maybe more of a support Dragapult here, just being able to outspeed any physical attacker and getting that Will O on it. And interesting here, a double switch. Now, William must have been reading a switch here from Jake, otherwise I would have just uh, Night Slashed again. But good thing he didn't, because he would have been locked into a Night Slash on a Tyranitar, and you're going to see why that's important in a second. But a good double switch benefiting William on this one. Now, interesting decision here to wish before getting damage. Um, maybe he was expecting to get attacked, but kind of a wasted turn from William because Jake just gets a Dragon Dance. And you know, Dragon Dance is one of the most uh, scariest setup moves in the game because a fast, strong Pokemon can just sweep through an entire team, as we've seen a few times in this league already. So, Wish is up. Not gonna do any healing. But the body press revealed two Dragon Dances, so this Tyranitar will be moving first, but two uh, speed boost and attack boost. Very scary here. The Wish gonna heal back up that Sandstorm damage. Let's see what happens here. Terrestrialize lies into the rock. Iron Head deals over half. No flinch, body press, and he's just barely able to live. Now I calc this, and assuming that Jake was running max HP and max defense, which he does like to make his Tyranitar very tanky, uh, even with max defense and a plus defense nature for Dash Bun, that attack would be dealing 32 to 38 percent damage, and this attack 36. So it was possible that they would kill, but didn't quite get the highest roll. Leftover is going to heal him back to 8, and he's going to outspeed and Iron Head to get the kill. So pretty good there from Jake, but now the Cerulege coming back in, and this thing has been the MVP for William. In a few battles in the past, Shadow Sneak going to be able to take it out. Didn't want to take a chance with the speed. I mean, 295 is the max speed for that, uh, 243 is the max speed for Tyranitar, but it was plus 2, so I would have doubled. I'm guessing it was not running max speed, but it may have outsped with the boost, so that's why he just decided the Shadow Sneak here. Now, questionable decision from Jake. Uh, maybe he had nothing else to deal with this, but Sludge Wave onto the Cerulege. going to be resisting that, because it is Ghost and Poison, not an interaction you'd think to have too often, but Ghost does resist that Poison. And here we go, Swords Dance. Setting up, deciding to go for another Sludge Wave, and gets the critical hit! Swords Dance again! But here we go, the Terra Steel! A Fire-type move is not going to be coming in, because Jake's is doing the same thing. Immune there, and Bitter Blade, even though it resists, going to one-hit KO and heal a ton of damage! Uh, when we were on the voice call, we were going crazy when this was happening, because Jake was this huge menace that had only lost week one and right at the end of William and ended up not getting a first round by and we were just seeing the Titan fall real time 
fake out, you're gonna flinch, but the weak armor lowering your defense, but adding the speed, and now William has a double speed, three times attack cerulege, which is Terra Steel, and it's just gonna outspeed and destroy everything. Bitter Blade, super effective, critical hit, just for the heck of it. Back to full health, life orb chipping down, but at this point, it's pretty much over. I mean, Dragapult, what's it gonna do? Shadow Sneak? No. I Shadow Sneak you! Jake gets upset by William. Just a full sweep from the Cerulege. An incredible turn of events. William strikes twice, or catches lightning in a bottle, two times in a row, two weeks, defeats Jake. And what incredible run from William. Barely making it into the playoffs and able to take out Jake in round number one. One of the biggest upsets of the whole tournament and just an exciting sweep. Uh, one of the biggest turning events of that match was probably the fake out. Uh, I'm not really sure why Jake felt the need to fake out. It hardly did any damage. Um, yeah, it did seven and it just activated the weak armor. So without that, maybe this would have gone differently, but William still had four more Pokemon as well. Didn't even see the Tinglu, uh, didn't see the Salazzle, two Pokemon that have done a lot for him. Choice Scarf Gallade, and then whatever he brought with the Frigorath. But incredible showing from William, uh, a little bit of a sad end to the season there from Jake, uh, just getting swept like that, but it happens. Sweeps are common in this type of format, and you gotta prepare for it. Uh, but that's gonna do it for this match. I think we released the videos out of order, so you may have already seen how William did in his next match. But this is how he got there. Uh, we're planning on getting these last few playoff videos out to you guys soon, so stay tuned. And thank you very much for watching.